So, you've decided it's time to part with your agent or manager. It's a tough decision, but sometimes it's necessary to move your career in the right direction. On this episode, we're going to tell you how to handle it smoothly and professionally. This is Casting Actors Cast. This is Casting Actors Cast. Jeffrey Dreisbach brings you insights and inspiration. Make a difference in your acting and your acting career. Here's Jeffrey Dreisbach. Well, hello, and welcome to today's episode of Casting Actors Cast. I'm casting partner Jeffrey Dreisbach with the McCorkle Group in New York. How are you? I hope you're well. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day, and I'm looking forward to this kind of delicate subject today, but I think it is really valuable because you never know when the information you're going to get in today's podcast is going to come in really handy, might be really, really helpful. So this is one of those that I would go to the website, castingactorscast.com, and I would print out the blog that corresponds to this episode. Because once you have this in writing, it's going to be really helpful. Also, if you do go to the website, there's a place that you can jump into the talent pool. It says, dive into the talent pool. And if you do that, that's going to open up some freebies. These are absolutely free of charge. One is a 100-page PDF on doing voiceover work that I wrote called Conversation Pieces Out of the Studio, the Voice of a Workshop for Professional Actors. Additionally, there's a completely free video, Casting Secrets, What They Don't Tell You. And like I mentioned, there's Jeff's Jots, which is the blog. And also, I just wanted to say it's really been great here being on the Broadway Podcast Network. And it's been going really, really well. So I just want to give my shout out and thanks to them. Speaking of Jeff's Jots, that's also the name of my new book, just released in August. It's called Jeff's Jots, The Actor's Career Playbook. It's based on over 300 podcast episodes, but I rewrote those episodes to give you really tangible, hands-on, useful information about being a professional, sort of the, the playbook for actors. I invite you to uh, check that out. The link is on the site. You can get a hardcover. You can get a paperback. You can get the ebook. I'm also starting to record the audio book. So you might want to hang on for that. Uh, so that's been a, a challenge <laughs> and also just a lot of fun as well. So there's a lot going on. Um, finally, my shout out to my good friends at Actors Connection. ActorsConnection.com slash New York is a cool place to check out if you haven't done so already. Finally, 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 I just want to say that I'm still looking for actors to send me a self-tape sample. If you've had an audition or you've worked on your self-tape and you want me to take a look at it, I will review it live on the air. In the past, it's been such a popular, um, I don't know, people have just been loving this that I don't look at the um, the self-tape. I'll actually wait and I will review it live on the air. Um, so you can go to um, uh, the the podcast or you could go to the YouTube channel so that you can actually see the video. But it's been really, really fun and really, really interesting. So you can get some free feedback on how your self-tapes look. So how to do that? Really simple. Um, the email is the same as the website. So you can just fill out that form that says dive into the talent pool and, and you could link it there or my email address, really easy, castingactorscast at gmail.com. So there's all kinds of stuff going on. There's all kinds of ways that you can get a hold of me. You can ask me questions. You can send me a podcast for review. Just know that if you send me a, um, I said podcast, I meant a self-tape. If you send me a self-tape, here's the thing. You also have to give me permission in writing that I'm able to play it over the podcast. You know, I don't want to get into any kind of trouble. Um, so if you do elect to send me and I'll choose one of those self tapes to play live on the air, I just also want to make sure that you give me permission to do so. Okay, cool. And with that out of the way, let's get into this really um, can be very sensitive, difficult subject. And that is when it's time to part ways with your agent or manager. Um, so here are some thoughts that I have about that. The first thing that I would do as a suggestion, and this is coming from a casting director, this is coming from an actor of over 20 years, I can tell you that the first thing I would give myself 
as far as advice is concerned, and to think it over first. Please think it over first before making any moves. Consider taking a step back and really think about why you want to leave. I mean, you know, are you unhappy with the work they're getting you or lack of work? Do you feel like your career isn't moving forward? You see, make sure your reasons are solid and that this just isn't a reaction to a temporary rough patch. Uh, many, many times actors are unaware of what's going on industry wide. And so they think that the lack of attention they're getting from their agent or their manager is because there is a falling out or something hasn't kind of clicked and you haven't heard from them in a while. And that can really trigger, and I'm using that word truthfully, that can really trigger some negative emotional stress for you. And so not only is keeping communication open really important, um, but don't harbor a resentment is my suggestion. If it's just been a rough patch and you kind of like your agent, but it hasn't been going great, ask them about what's going on. Maybe they'll give you some insight that will help you get a better perspective. On the other hand, if you don't get that kind of assistance or help, then maybe this isn't a rough patch. Maybe your instincts are something you should follow through on. But taking your time and really analyzing it first would be the very first suggestion I would want to make to you. The second is to check your check your contract. Yeah, check your contract. Contracts can be really tricky sometimes. Now, if it's a SAG after or Actors Equity Association contract with a franchised agent, um, the language is very clearly laid out for you. But you need to take a close look at your contract. I mean, you're going to want to know if there's anything about how to end the relationship, like maybe there's giving notice period of time or there may be some financial obligations. You see, understanding the legal side will help you avoid any unpleasant surprises. Next tip, plan ahead. Before you officially break things off, have a plan. Do you already have someone else in mind to represent you? Have you made some kind of contact or outreach with a potential new representative? Are you ready to handle things on your own for a bit? Maybe you don't have somebody in mind, but maybe it's just going to be, let's try it on my own. Having a plan in place will make the transition smoother and will definitely keep your career on the right track. And the next tip, get ready for the conversation. It's not going to be an easy conversation. You know that. So it's best to be prepared, be clear and professional when you explain your decision. I can't stress this enough. It's important to stay calm and avoid getting emotional or starting to point fingers or focus how disappointed you are. Or maybe it would be a better piece of advice just to say that you're looking to go in a different direction. Maybe that agent or manager or rep is thinking of you only in theater terms and you want to do more film and television. That's valid. But if you're open to what they might say in response to that, then that's great. If, on the other hand, you're pretty sure that it's not going to happen, that they're not going to take your suggestion or think of you in terms that you are interested in, then, of course, you need to make that decision. Moving on from there, talk in person or at the very least over the phone. If you can have this conversation face to face or at the very least over the phone, it is certainly more respectful and shows that you value the relationship, even if it's ending. Now, sending an email, I'm telling you, might be taken as an impersonal gesture and really could come off as very, very unprofessional. No matter how upset you are, no matter how angry you are, it's important that you take a breath and treat it in a professional way. I promise you there is dividend coming your way if you're able to behave that way.
Okay. <laughs> I just thought I rhymed there for a weird minute there. Um, listen, we're going to be right back. We're going to have a quick message and we're going to continue this conversation right after this. Are you wishing for acting success? Are you ready with audition techniques for theater, film, and television? Are you ready with proven methods for growing your talent? Are you ready to boost your business? It would help if you had a playbook to guide you. Now, there's Jeff's Jots, the actor's career playbook by Jeffrey Dreisbach. Jeff's Jots at Amazon.com, CastingActorsCast.com, available in paperback, hardcover, or ebook. Stop wishing and start doing with Jeff's Jots, the actor's career playbook. Welcome back. And so when we talk about, gosh, it's time to leave the agent. It's time to leave the manager. It's time to move on, explore other opportunities. I think it's important to be honest, but gentle. In my opinion, honesty is key, but so is being tactful. You can be honest without being hurtful. You don't need to go into every detail about why you're unhappy especially if it might cause tension. Instead, my suggestion is to frame it as a professional decision about your career path, period. End of story. It's important to have the conversation. It's important to be respectful. It's important to listen to the response. Maybe there's an opportunity that you hadn't thought of if you're listening and you're hearing a different point of view. Maybe the agent or manager is desperate to hang on to you. Maybe, on the other hand, they agree with you. Maybe it is time to move on. You never know what that's going to reveal when you have that conversation. But be pre prepared for all eventualities. Uh, next tip, I think, is to give notice. Simply, if your contract says you need to give notice, make sure that you do that. Now, even if it doesn't, Offering a, a couple of weeks notice is a very respectful way to handle the situation. It shows that you appreciate their work and that you want to part on nothing but good terms. And then, of course, say thank you. No matter your reasons for leaving, it's important to acknowledge the work your agent or manager has done for you up to that point. A simple thank you for their time and effort, that just honestly goes a long way in keeping things positive. Because, you know, you've heard this before, I'm sure, but you never know when your paths might cross again. It's true. Now, after that, after you've had the conversation, after you've thanked them for the participation and for the relationship that you've had up to that point, my suggestion is to follow it up in writing. After the conversation, it's a good idea to follow up with an email to confirm your decision. Here's why. It gives you both a record of the conversation and any details you agreed on, like the official end date. Finally, make the transition smooth. Make sure everything's wrapped up neatly before you go, whether it's finishing up current projects or maybe handing over any necessary files. A smooth transition helps everyone move forward without any loose ends. A couple of other notes I just kind of want to throw in there that I think it might be of value is please keep it friendly. I can tell you that the entertainment industry is a small world. And you never know when that might run into the, that you might run into the same people again. You know that that's very, very possible. <laughs> so that leaving on good terms ensures that you don't burn bridges. That could be really important down the road, especially. Even if things weren't perfect, keeping it cordial is absolutely crucial. You'll feel so much better about yourself, and the professional demeanor goes a long way in the relationship in the future, I promise you. Um, another side note is that get legal help if you need it. Sometimes it gets complicated. Sometimes you're going to need some additional help, uh, especially if you're worried about any complications like disputes over money or contracts or, you know, it just might be worth getting advice from an entertainment lawyer. Now, I know it's going to cost you some money, but they can help you navigate the process and make sure your interests are protected. That's most important. 
finally move forward with confidence. Once you've made your decision and you handled the departure professionally, it's time to look ahead, whether you're finding new representation or you're taking a breather, taking some time off, trust that you've made the right choice for your career and step into your next chapter with confidence. Now, finally, you know, I have to say breaking up with your agent or manager, it isn't easy, but handling it with care and respect will help move you forward without burning bridges. You've got this. I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach. This is Casting Actors Cast. We'll see you next time. Thanks.